Oh, the robin has just flown away. Anyway, I'm here with two new cuttings and himself has returned with the DNA results from this pear tree, this Cadillac pear tree, which is and says, it says uh, exactly like you anticipated. It is indeed a Catiac. Yeah. Um, we were able to track that to the 1660s. 1660s. Uh, so very old variety, very rare variety now. Oh, cool. Um, would have, um, we think the name maybe comes from Cadillac actually in Aquitaine, which I believe is in France. It is Aquitaine, Aquitaine yes. Aquitaine, excuse yes. me. Um, so, so yeah, in, in, indeed very, very old. Very, very old. Cool. And, uh, I'm here to hopefully get some signs off it today. And so signs are? Signs being the the one year growth, the one year new growth that we can then cut and then graft uh, onto a rootstock so we can uh, perpetuate its genes. Uh, and I'm doing that today because seed savers would like some varieties and then another man called, called Gordon uh, also affiliate with seed savers he'd like some cuttings if, if from if we may. from our from tree Katiak. yes um and then i'd also like with our course in the field maybe to, we're going to be doing some grafting in march oh very so, good so it's a it's a kind of nice way this, this graft active grafting is a nice way of kind of just you know keeping the story alive and moving absolutely and particularly if it's such an old rare variety of tree That's to it. propagate it out across the country means that if something disastrous helps to, happens to my beautiful pear tree um there are others of its genetic makeup elsewhere in the country up and coming up and up coming, and, coming. Exactly. and what is it you have in your hand here so yeah so i would have been discussing our uh you know, Dublin's oldest fruit tree when yes. I was here last time. So that's cited in the Liberties, which is within the digital hub. What's now the digital hub. Yeah. Which would have been rose whiskey uh, back, uh, you know, 200 years ago or so. Rose whiskey would have been brewed there or? Would have been, would have been distilled. So it would have well, been distilled the there. Sorry, yeah. not brewed. No, sorry. That's beer. Be, no, 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 no. You so, Absolutely. So rose whiskey. So we, we have an engraving from the... 1770s, 1780, sorry, 1880s, 1870s, which shows Rose Whiskey in its heyday when it yeah. was like it was a huge complex, like running all the way down to the Liffey. From, oh wow! From James's Street, yeah, Thomas Street, James's Street, um, and our pear tree. That pear tree is there. It's situated, and it's there. the one it's that you showed tree. me photographs of that is on the corner somewhere. It is indeed, and it yeah. was the one that is was being kind of lauded as kind of Dublin's oldest fruit tree. Yes. Or maybe Ireland's oldest fruit tree. So this, this, it, it, the urban legend was kind of really uh, spinning around yes, last yes. time I was here. Yeah. Uh, there was a sense that for every year the tree actually got, got older, uh, uh, it, within the urban mythology, you got five years older. So oh. it was, it, which was exciting and which was good. Um, but we, we also got the digital uh, fingerprint, or the, sorry, the, the genetic genetic fingerprint, fingerprint the DNA, the, yeah, the DNA. which is what that previous video to this one is you were collecting and talking That's about. That's right, I was yeah. back last time in June, I believe it was, I was Something. collecting the leaves yes. to send away to, to, via seed savers to get a, get the genetic uh, fingerprint of that through a lab in England. Yes. That took some time, so we were able to confirm that this is a Katiak. Yes. And we were also to get, able to get a fix on the digital hub tree or the or the the, the old yeah. pe uh, liberties pear, pear yes and that came back as a maricel de cor um introduced uh, probably raised or first documented by a man called jb van mons okay uh, from 1842 that's the first time it was it was identified and he sent that in 1847 to hog who was a, a big nursery in, in England at the time. Okay. And we reckon from there it then came over to Ireland. So that cites it probably in the 1850s. Okay. Um, Which would be younger than the tree standing behind you. For sure, the variety is younger. This we know for sure. But then also you were you were saying that maybe your ancestors planted this tree maybe within the early years of, of occupying eighteen hundreds yeah. to it could be previous to them being here. That's right. Yeah. So it could be in the seventeen somethings. That's. Who, who knows because I mean, of the yeah. because when we had we had somebody else here who was looking for a graft line on that and he couldn't find one okay. which means it's really really old oh so you, you, because I, I, the graft line is gone it's grown out it's grown, grown out, out completely grown yeah. out 
be probably a nice clean graph line to begin with, cleaner Could than my be. graphs. And then so, what's the other one here? So the other one, I don't, I don't know how much I talked about the other one. This is from the what was the Royal Hospital Kilmainham. Okay. So also on DA, Dublin 8. And this is in the, what's now the Garda Barracks. And this, this is a kind of a vestige orchard yeah. that was forgotten about. Yeah. Um, but is now... Um, is now they're redeveloping the area. So yeah. One of the trees was felled, unfortunately. Oh no! By the OPW, but we managed to get signs off the other trees, and there's still trees, tree trees there. Oh good. That, that that's the Doyen de Brassac, also by this man Van Mons. Now I I have to look into this more. Yes. Uh, but Van yes. Van Mons would appear to be, you know, uh, and indeed Belgium now even like so, Belgium is still like a great site of like pear pears. And yeah. Pear husbandry. Yeah. Yeah. So Van Mons is 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 uh, you know part of that culture from the you know from the early to mid nineteenth century. So this yeah. was this was introduced in eighteen nineteen. It was raised by Van Mons, as was the Marcel, Marcel de Cour, uh, and then this reached Britain also in eighteen forty two. So there's this sense of all these Belgian varieties. In being arriving, in arriving into Ireland in or England and then, and then, then Ireland, by, yeah, we, yeah. We can assume, you know, or yes. we, we, we assume. So this is also here. So I believe you have a friend that grass. So this might be something. Yes, exactly. No, it would be lovely to include them because, like I said, it's good to have them dispersed around the countryside in case anything happens. That's it. So and, it and, really helps. And the agenda is to collect some signs from here. I'll use it within my classwork. So sure yeah, we're, we're all we're. On our, on our best day, we're amateurs. Yes. I don't know. I, I, hey, yeah. but it's good to be, I mean, this is the whole thing is encouraging amateurs. Yeah. Because the more people who are doing it, the more propagation we have yeah. of these rare species dispersed around the island of Ireland. Because with all the tree diseases, we need to have as many of them around as possible. That's so, I, I mean, to me, I'm all for amateurs doing these kind of things because it's it's needed for the security of biodiversity and food and i suppose amateurs what i will say in our defense is we're doing it for the love of it you know we're not you know, with enthusiasm and love enthusiasm and love if, if not absolute proficiency but proficiency <laughs> comes season by season yes. over time you know yeah yeah um, yeah but definitely what we'll do is also we'll send these varieties yes and your katiak yeah. And um, to seed savers as well. So then oh, it's good. also it's in very safe hands then. And so, you know, slowly but surely, I, I mean, this, this, this is how we build resilience, right? And it is as, exactly as, how we build, build resilience. To lots of people rather than, you know, just a select few. Who are uh, looking at it as a monetary gain rather than longevity. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would say that, you know, I, I'm, we're certainly not in it for the money we're in for the... The knowledge, but also did that tree in Dublin, uh, we use it within our coursework, within NCAA. The one field. that is called? The oldest, possibly the oldest fruit tree in Dublin. <laughs> not possibly the oldest fruit tree in Dublin because it's still rather old. And it's but a pear tree. It's a pear tree. Yeah. It's the fact that that did survive the Industrial Revolution. Yeah. Which has got us in this mess. This in the first place. This century mess, yeah. you know, really so you know, it's it survived. So it's kind of like a venerable tree, like this tree. Yeah. Which, which you know, something to kind of rally people around in terms Absolutely. of community and exchange and and knowledge sharing. You know. You know. Absolutely. So, so. No, that's excellent. So now, should we cut some, what you called? Science. Science. Yeah. Can you spell that word for me? So cyan, S C I O N. Uh, so. Um, again, like, you know, a lot of botanical terms that find their way into the English language, like grafting. Yes. Know? So we're getting cutting signs to graft. And of course, grafting is, is the act of kind of suturing, you know, two things together. It's like a form of surgery. Uh, or, so, um, you, so in other words, you're grafting these onto a rootstock. Root stock, yeah. And the rootstock, a lot of them are numbered. Now, just so everybody knows, we have children here. Oh, look. Oh, and Sarah. Hello. The musician, <laughs> the musician Sarah. <laughs> okay, so everything's happening here. Okay, so should we get... Um, so yeah. we, here, it looks like you've got some great ones here. Straight away, there, straight away. There's a whole really series. 
These are very easy to get. So if I may, I might take it off just there. I'll take the second year, okay. the last year's growth. Yes. And, well, the two years old growth. Yes. And so these and are, then these here's are, a beautiful these one are as well. Wonderfully accessible. So it's well, when you're the grafting. Hall, we have to go. David Dwellen of Dwellen Orchards had to go rather high up the tree. Yes. Uh, Whereas here you can get it at a particular there, height. There, yeah, and the children are here to help. The children are here. Austin, do you want to scatter these for me? Here, do you want to hold these? It's very important. Okay. Well, sorry, take them off. Whoops. Hold those. Good lad. So yeah, these are now these are so here's, I was here's some more. You tree. were thinking you were gonna have to climb a tree. Yeah, because in the liberties it's it's very it's very high up. Um, because it, it hasn't nothing's has been done with the tree, it hasn't been pruned at all. So there's been no there's been no vegetative growth. Uh, and did you do as I kind of suggested in oxygenating it? Uh, not yet. I'll tell you we're a bit we're going with David's advice and David's kind of saying be just very careful anything you do with it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So no, you have to be. It. Yes. In terms of even pruning it, it's so old. Let's see the where are the sticks. Oh, very good. It's so old to, to, to kind of to do anything with it unless somebody was really, really, really very good at what they're doing. Yeah. It could risk. It could risk a problem. Yeah. So David recommended just leave the tree. Yeah. Let, that's not one. No, that's he, not one. He said leave the tree to just. Here's be. one. It's doing Here. Great. It's doing great. Yeah. Um. So don't leave. You know, leave well enough alone as to say. Yeah. Um, so, um, look at the aconites, aren't they pretty? Do you see these? Do you see these? These are called aconites, they're a pretty flower, and the bees love them.